And this year's winner is Kevin Copps of Arkansas. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, and Lauren, we're pleased to be joined by Arkansas Razorback pitcher Kevin Cobbs. Kevin, let's con go. Congratulations, man. You've had a decorated and successful season. What does this award mean to you? I mean, <clears throat> it means so much to me. I'd like to thank uh, God, the coaching staff, my family, and all, all my teammates and uh, Mrs. Hauser for this uh, this award. Uh, it's kind of it's kind of not real, to be honest. <laughs> Take me through it, man. Long lineage of stars. We went to break. I mean, a lot of guys from Chris Bryant up and down the line have won this award. So usually means you're going to go on to be a star in the big leagues. Is that is, is that the plan? Yeah, that's the plan. It's kind of, like I said, it's kind of not, not real to me to be on the list with all those guys. Uh, you were 12-1, and one, as, yeah. as Lauren mentioned, ERA of .9. 11 saves in 131 strikeouts in just over 89 innings. Uh, our Arkansas has a great program. You guys are ranked number one for, for most of the year. What was the secret or what has been the secret to your success? Honestly, when I think about the season, I think about like all the previous years that I've been here and like all the help I've gotten from coaching staff and the player development here is uh, pretty unreal. And uh, so I just think about all the years ahead of this one that I put in. So you're known for a nasty cutter. Who taught you it? How do you shape it? Do you model it after anyone? Who, who are you trying to be like out on the mound? Uh, um, actually, an old Astros pitcher, John Hudak, taught me it in high school. I, um, I know John, John Hudak. I, I actually <laughs> played with John Hudak with the Braves. I, I try to shape it, I guess, depending on the hitter and the uh, like lefty righty or where in the count I, I'm at um, I kind of shape it more like a slider and I'll yeah. turn it more into a slider the deeper I get into counts and early on I think I turn it more into a cutter just to get some early contact but uh, yeah yeah I was watching Zach Wheeler the other night and he talked about that exact thing he said I throw a cutter but I can morph it to a slider I can do different things with it is that kind of how you feel when you're out on the mound yeah it's it's kind of hard to explain like I throw it, I feel like I'm throwing a cutter, but like when I want to get more depth to it, like more of a curveball type action, I feel like I'm getting on top of it more and uh, just kind of how it comes out. Hey, Kevin, uh, as I said, Arkansas has a long history of yeah. success in college baseball. They've had so many great players there, including a former Dick Hauser Trophy Award winner, and he has a special message for you right here. Kevin, what's up, man? This is Andrew Benintendi. Just wanted to uh, congratulate you on winning the Dick Hauser Award. Um, very well deserved. You earned it. It was fun watching you throw the ball this year, and good luck the rest of the way. Go Hogs. Kevin, there's so many there's so many major leaguers that come from Arkansas. I mean, Andrew Benintendi is, is one of many. What is that like to be a part of a school and program that has produced so many good players that have gone on to the big leagues? Like I said, it's not, it doesn't feel real right now still, but um, I mean, I feel like it's just a testament to the program and kind of the player development we have going. And especially with our new facility, I think it's going to get much better in the coming years. Yeah, Dallas Keuchel. The first, Brett Anderson, yeah, the yeah. first time I saw your name, though, on Twitter was after you guys got knocked out and you hung around and you signed autographs for everyone, if I'm not mistaken, yeah. right? Well, who, where's that come from? Mom and dad or? You felt obligated to, to give back to the fans because that was special. No, it comes from a, uh, a Michael Jordan quote uh, that's kind of stuck with me. He's, ta he's talking about playing hard every game because, like, might be someone's only chance to see him play in person or something like that. So that's kind of what I think about. Um, uh, it might be some little kid's only chance to see me or something like that, and he, he really wants a ball sign. So it's kind of nice to give back to the fans in that way. I wasn't thinking that. Oh, man. <laughs> I was ready to hit the streets. <laughs> I was ready to hit the streets. All right. I got to ask you a question because huge juice guy. Yeah, huge, celery yeah, juice. Yeah, big on that. huge celery juice guy. <laughs> but I want to throw to some sound because someone asked you how you're able to throw 50 pitches one night and then back it up the next night. So listen to your answer right here. Kevin, we don't see too many guys throw 50 pitches one night and then two days later come out and throw another 50 pitches in relief what is it that makes you able to do that um <clears throat> beet juice 
All right, I went down that beet juice wormhole <laughs> and I got off it. So take me, why is that, were you just kidding or does it work for you? Uh, honestly, I couldn't really think of an answer right there. And, <laughs> <laughs> uh, my, my teammates always joke around with me about drinking beet juice. So it just kind of popped in my head. I thought I would say it. So you are rocking beet juice daily. <laughs> yes, you, now uh, you also were rocking a, a, a sweet stash, a little uh, <laughs> lip lettuce. What? I mean, this, you look like you're, you're like your Farva from Super Troopers here. <laughs> I mean, this is an outstanding look. What made you uh, stray, you know, steer away from it? Uh, I don't know. I was, last year didn't go that well for me, and I was trying to kind of just be myself more, and I felt like the mustache was really distracting. I always felt like people were, like, looking at it and staring at yeah. it, and I couldn't get over that. You're too, you're, you're honestly too good looking a dude to rock that. that <laughs> yeah, you, this so. is a much better. Hey, real quick, before we let you go, we know that there's a handful of SEC teams in the College World Series. What do you, uh, you know, just yeah, kind of handicap it for yeah. us? What do you, what should we be looking for in Omaha this week? <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm always rooting for the SEC teams in Omaha. I'm really pro SEC, so I kind of like watching them um, out there. And um, I think Tennessee, Vanderbilt, Mississippi State all have really good teams, and uh, I'm kind of looking forward to see what they do. Well, Kevin, uh, we appreciate you uh, spending some time with us. Congratulations on this latest award, and good luck to you the best, uh, the rest of the way. Enjoy your summer. Thank you. All right, that's Kevin Copps of the University of Arkansas that's Razorbacks, awesome. the winner of the 2021 Dick Hauser Trophy. Congratulations.